It is time to test the toughness of the MacBook Pro 13-inch with Retina display. We went looking for a location with a lot of different options, and we landed here at American Soil and Stone, where we're going to scratch, drop, and dunk our poor little MacBook. Let's get to it. Now, one thing I actually consider a weakness of the MacBook Pro is its aluminum body. It's already a little scuffed up just from sitting on the rock earlier, so we decided to take the scratch test concept and kick it up a notch. All right, let's just... Come on in. Oh, it's in there. Now we're gonna shake it up. <gasps> that was awesome. So I'm betting that it's a little bit scratched up. Uh certainly dusty. Yeah, we have some scratching. We have a lot of dirt. I gotta say, this is not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Turns out, a little bit tougher than I thought, at least in the scratch department. Oh, I'll be careful. I don't wanna smush him. Well, so now the thing about our MacBook Pro is that it's really dirty. So I think it's time for it to get a little shower while it's open. Oh, that's terrible. That's just awful. It's like you're on a photo shoot and like a rogue wave comes and it just gets splashed. Not for much longer than that though. Let's, let's rescue here. All right, our screen definitely turned off. I just wanted to wash the dirt off. All right, let's see. I mean, it's off. So I think what we're gonna do here, I did the worst thing imaginable, which was press the power button. Oh, oh, it restarted. The thing that usually goes first is the trackpad. That seems to be the case here. Oh no, the trackpad is on. I'm logged in. This thing is turning out to be a lot tougher than I thought. It's totally functioning after its little shower. Time to keep going. So arguably right now, we still have a perfectly functional MacBook Pro and I am as surprised as you, but it's time for the drop test. All right, three, two, one, walk in. Oh, I guess it doesn't skid at all. It sounded really dull. Oh, we have dentage. I definitely have one good dent right here. Let's see if I can't skid it just a little bit. Three, two, one. God, okay, we have some scratching. Couple more dents, nothing too serious, but I think we should find out how our retina display can handle a drop if it's, you know, open. Three, two, one, oh! The hinge feels a little tight, but the screen is okay. I don't really see much more dents. The hinge is just a little bit of, got a little bit of a hiccup, but you know, that's no big deal. All right, other than our little scratches and it kind of looks like a bear got it. But other than that, it's, it seems fine. Now, most of the time we try to keep these tests within the realm of possibility. It's time to veer from that just a tiny bit, although I think this could happen. Our buddy Big John here is gonna pick up this pallet of bricks with his forklift and then accidentally set it on top of this one. Come on in. There we go. Oh! I'm not even gonna lie, I heard some really terrible noises come out of that just now because I think the forklift also got the computer. Okay, let's take it away. I changed my mind. I don't want those bricks after all. God, I'm almost afraid to look. I am not seeing any obvious signs of damage right off the bat. The screen is not damaged any more than it was. The case is not damaged any more than it was. I mean, granted, it was only like a pallet of half full of bricks or whatever, considering that even that couldn't do it. I think we gotta go bolder.
Okay, Big John, I need a boulder. Help me out. <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> Let's just let that sit for a minute. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh God. Well, now that can't be good. Ooh, ooh, I can't even rock that. Okay, come and get it. <laughs> oh my God. This is some like gratuitous, oh geez, oh no. Oh God. Okay, we definitely messed up the palette. All right, let's see. I have some decent dentage here for sure. That was not nice. Okay, you can definitely see denting. The screen does not lay flush like it used to at all. Let's see if the screen's still intact though. Oh, oh, the hinge doesn't want to open at all. Oh, we have cracked the retina display. So you have a little bit of spider web pattern here. This is kind of where the impact zone was. But I gotta say, nowhere near the shattering that I might expect. If this thing still comes on after drying out, I'm gonna call that usable. This thing is tough. So we're back in the office and we've had our MacBook Pro in a bag of rice for 24 hours, a lot of rice. It's been laying flat. So we're gonna take it out, see if it comes on. Shake out some of the rice. Just to give it the best chance of survival, plug it in. Let's see. I'm just gonna keep holding this power button because I'm keeping hope alive. I don't have any green light on my power cord and I don't have any activity on the screen. I don't know if it was the water or the boulder, but I'm sorry to say I think our MacBook Pro is dead. Oh! Wait, just when we thought it was dead, it came back on. Not like on, on, but it just needed a little while on the juice to get a little bit of battery life back in it. It's not okay. The screen is definitely in a lot of trouble. So now, you saw us do a lot of bad things to this MacBook Pro, and honestly, I bet you could replace this display and you would have a functioning laptop. This guy is unquestionably construction grade.